What is going on guys? My name is Dylan and I'm back with another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. This tutorial actually isn't specific for DaVinci Resolve. This can go with any editing software. I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can get super smooth slow motion footage even if you didn't shoot at a high frame rate like let's say you're using your iPhone and it's taking 24 frames per second I'm gonna show you guys how you can get super slow motion without a high frame rate and I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks and some techniques you guys can use so let's hop in resolve and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it alright guys once you have DaVinci opened up I have actually just a shot on here that I took on my iPhone which shoots at 24 frames per second so it's not the highest frame rate and the first tip I'm gonna give you guys on getting better slow motion is if you have a camera and you're trying to get macro shots just like zoomed in slow motion shots then definitely shoot at 120 frames per second if you have it on your camera if you have 60 frames per second if that's the highest your camera goes then shoot at that but yeah, basically for getting super good slow motion footage is shoot at a high frame rate. But let's say you're um, limited to just your iPhone and it's shooting at 24 frames per second, then I'm gonna show you guys how you can get good slow motion footage with just 24 frames per second. So I'm just going to make a little speed ramp on this. So I'm gonna uh, right click on it and go to retime curve. This is just how I normally do my speed ramps is using retime curve, but you guys can do retime control if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. But I'm just gonna uncheck retime frame and check retime speed. And I'm gonna go to the point that I want to get the slow motion. So about right here is where I'm gonna start it. And I'm just gonna make a keyframe right here and I'm gonna end it about right here. So I'm gonna make another keyframe right here. And I'm just gonna make this about, I'm gonna do a drastic speed ramp just so I can show you guys how you can fix this. So I'm gonna go to about 25%, which is gonna look super choppy if you are at 24 frames per second, um, like how I shot mine. So I'm actually just gonna make all these keyframes curves and I'm just gonna stretch them out a little bit. So as you guys can see, it is super choppy and it looks just, it just doesn't look good at all really. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to actually right click on this and I'm going to get rid of the retime curve and I'm going to go in the inspector and I'm going to go down to retime and scaling. I'm just going to double click to open up the properties and I'm going to change the retime process instead of project settings. I'm going to put it on optical flow. And if you guys have the studio version of Resolve, which I do not, so I cannot use this feature, but Speed Warp is a great feature if you have the studio version, just to get literally the smoothest possible um, slow motion that you can get. But if you have, um, everyone has the option to use Optical Flow, it's in the free version. And if you guys are Premiere Pro users, then this is also an option on Premiere Pro because I also use Premiere Pro sometimes. So I'll use Optical Flow if I'm going for super slow motion in Premiere Pro. And basically it's just gonna, um, it's gonna not play back very well because Optical Flow is just super hard on your computer. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can render this. So you just wanna right click on the footage and go to Render Cache um, Fusion Output and you're just gonna turn this on and then you're gonna go up to playback and go up to render cache and you're just gonna change this to user. So as you guys can see, a red bar pops up, which means that it is not done rendering. And once the whole bar is blue, then it should give you very nice playback. All right, and once you guys have this rendered, I'm gonna show you guys the final output right here. And as you guys can see, I mean, it's not the smoothest just because it's at 24 frames per second, but optical flow does give you some flexibility on the frame rate and it does make it look a little bit smoother. I would probably put this to around 40% um, if I'm shooting at 24 frames per second, just to get the most out of optical flow because it isn't just a miracle worker. It doesn't, um, it doesn't make all your footage look amazing, but it is gonna do the job and it is gonna make Make it look less choppy and kind of try to fill in the frames because you're only shooting at 24 frames per second but that's basically it guys for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video then please leave it a thumbs up 
and make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you guys like these videos better where I'm talking more in front of the camera and I'm kind of showing you guys like techniques that you guys can do as opposed to effects that you guys can put onto your video, then let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna be trying to do more of these just tips and tricks videos on how to get better footage and how to shoot better footage. But until tomorrow guys, peace out.